Travis. Yes, sir. This is a turbine. Yes. It's an iVent turbine. Roof iVent. It's amazing. Why is it amazing? Tell me about it. This gets installed first. Right. This is for this has a small flange. It's for a metal roof. There's a wider flange for a shingle roof. Got it. You get this installed, and now you can get the perfect pitch. Right. And this goes on second. And you want to how many times have you seen them? Though? Oh, they're always wonky, right? So you get this adjustability, and then it starts moving. It's yep. very smooth. The bearings are down deep inside of it. So they're Completely not protected from the elements. Protected from the elements. The material alone is just far superior. You than can the feel it. Yeah. This polypropylene, it is a strong material. It's not going to get damaged in a hailstorm. It can take a beating. Right. Um, and then because of even the aerodynamic, there's issues with the aerodynamic design that just make this thing move air. When we've, we've gone into retro and installed these on houses, one house that had intake, but zero exhaust, four year old house. The second I put this on, it just was like, heat and i could it's like i could roast marshmallows wow. coming off of that thing so it was pretty like, incredible you know turbines have been kind of frowned upon for years now right so how was it for you like when you first discovered this product were you like i don't know were you skeptical about oh, it oh for sure because so, i i i tried to move more to passive ventilation right. and just like all right let's use physics and stack effect but in our hot humid texas attics man we got i it. feel like I want something a little more active. This yeah. is what you would call active ventilation, yeah. but I don't want powered right, and right. to rely on a fan that's going to fail. 100%. I was like, well, maybe the, the turbines aren't so bad, but then you go back and see all the problems with them. Right. And this just hits the sweet spot because you've got this active ventilation. It, it pulls that heat out of the attic without overpowering it like a powered fan would. And then we, we've talked a little bit about this whole idea of condensation, right? right. We, we get condensation in our attics when it's cold, because materials get cold, metal gets cold, Yeah, hold, holds that cold temperature, and then you get humidity, and the humidity rises, you get condensation. So right. I've, you've seen like rusty nails in attics or, yeah. or boards that have mold because of all the water, but also our metal vents right. will condense. Totally. If you were to get, you're less likely to get condensation on this because it's not metal, but it has a drain. Even if you do get condensation on the inside... It'll actually drain it out. drains it. out. So what's the roof's job? Number one job right. is to keep the water keep out. The water out of your house. And so this is another way. Yes, we want wind-driven rain out. We yep. want, you know, the, the bulk water out. But we also want condensation out. And this, to me, helps uh, prevent condensation as well. I explained it the same way. People talk about having a roof over your head, right? Yeah. They weren't talking about the shade. They weren't talking about yeah. the, you know, getting out of the sun. It's to keep the water off of your head. That yeah. was the, that's where the saying came from, right? And so what you're telling me is this thing uh, has the performance of an old turbine without all of the issues. It's like if you could take the old turbine and improve about five things about it, yeah. that's what he's done.